hello all welcome back to my channel so in this video we will discuss about the components of a pelton wheel turbine so a pelton wheel turbine is a turbine which is used for very high heads means where high head of water is available we use a pelton wheel and also uh, with uh, this pelton wheel turbine has a very low specific speed and a low discharge and this pelton wheel is a tangential impulse turbine and the available energy at the entrance of the pelton wheel is only kinetic energy means we consider only kinetic energy and the pelton wheel turbine is named after an american engineer uh, lester a pelton uh, after he developed this turbine in the year 1880 so coming to the components main components of the pelton wheel turbine we have four components uh, the first one is nozzle and flow regulating arrangement runner and buckets casing and braking jet so coming to the first one which is nozzle and flow regulating arrangement so if you see here this is the figure for uh, the nozzle and spear arrangement so you can see here this is our penstock through which the water will flow and uh, here the penstocks are pipes of very large diameter so if that water will come and fall on the turbine we do not get velocity or good kinetic energy so hence what we do is we fit a nozzle such that once the area of flow is decreased obviously the velocity would increase so now uh, here our turbine would be there so the uh, water once entering through the penstock will enter through the nozzle and it will uh, form behave like a jet of water and it will fall on the runner of the turbine so here we have nozzle and also we have a spear arrangement here so this what you can see here is called as a spear so what is the spear so spear is that which is used as a regulating uh, a regulator for the water to flow say suppose if more amount of water is coming from the penstock we move this spear backward so how do you move this spear forward and backward so this spear can be moved backward and forward with the help of this wheel this uh, wheel uh, is either i mean either it uh, can be rotated with the help of a hand or also it can be a digitalized unit okay just with the switch on and switch off also you can move forward and backward so when the water flow is less through the penstock we make the spear to move back so just imagine when this spear moves back side obviously more amount of water will enter into the nozzle we have less amount of water to uh, which is falling on the runner we have less discharge coming through the penstock then we push the spear forward and when the uh, as we are pushing the spear forward the amount of water falling on the runner or striking the runner will be reduced okay and this spear is a uh, having a conical needle this one you can see here right so this is the first uh, component which is nozzle and flow regulating arrangement which is nothing but the spear coming to the second one which is the runner so water after coming out from the nozzle will fall on the runner right so this is the runner so what is the meaning of the word runner runner is nothing but the rotating part of a turbine so it's a circular wheel or a circular disc on which set of vanes or buckets are fitted so this what you can see in the figure are called the vanes or buckets or you can call them as blades of a turbine so this is the main component of a turbine so we all know turbine is used for converting hydraulic energy to mechanical energy so here the energy conversion takes place okay so on the periphery means on the circumference of this circular disc we have the vanes fitted or the buckets fitted and each vane will be in the shape of a double hemispherical cup shape or like a bowl shape okay and each vane is divided equally into two halves with the help of a splitter and when the water strikes the uh, buckets first it falls on the splitters and the water will come out like this okay so see here so you can see this is how the water from the nozzle is striking the vanes so this will be rotating the runner will be rotating so you can have a clear view here we have a splitter so when the water strikes the uh, splitter so it will come out in this way in the outward direction it will uh, fall and it will move and come out like this and uh, this uh, vanes are generally made up of cast iron or uh, stainless steel depending upon the amount of fed coming at the inlet third one is casing 
so when if you see here as we told it's a tangential turbine correct means the water is striking the runner in a tangential manner so if you see here you have a clear view so the water is coming and striking in a tangential manner so imagine uh, if there is no casing what would happen so the entire water since it is falling with very high velocity it will splash outside so to prevent the splashing of water outside we provide this casing so this casing will be generally made up of uh, cast iron or sometimes even fabricated sheets or even a glass sheet like that it is just a protective covering for the runner such that the water would not splash outside and this casing has no hydraulic function means a specific function it doesn't have it's just like a safeguard and the last one we have braking jet say suppose uh, after the turbine has finished its operation we will stop the turbine means in, in, indirectly we are stopping the run up but uh, if you observe even though you stop the water to fall onto the runner due to inertia the runner keeps on rotating means just imagine like our fan even after switching off the fan also due to inertia it will rotate for some time and then it will come to rest position so like that also even when we stop the water supply to fall on the runner also due to inertia up to some time the runner can keep on rotating so to immediately stop the runner to immediately get the runner to a rest position we provide uh, a small nozzle which allows water to flow on the back side of the vanes and that is called as a braking jet we call it braking jet because that jet of water is braking the motion of the runner okay so these are the four important components of pelton wheel thanks for watching